Hey, what's going on guys? Mike here, back with another video. All right guys, today I want to talk about solo launching your boat. So uh, this video is gonna be good for anybody that's thinking about getting a boat here, kind of curious on how to launch it, or if you're just uh, curious on how to launch your boat by yourself. Um, can be a kind of a scary thing to do, especially when you get a you know brand new boat for the first time. So uh, first thing I'm gonna do here, kind of walk you guys through the process, show you guys how I do it. I know there's a lot of different ways to do it, but uh, the end result's gonna be the same. So this is what I do first, guys. First thing I do is I come check out the ramp. I make sure the ramp's good to go. I don't know how many times I've got to a ramp and then you know maybe a storm has come through and there's something right there, right where you need to put your boat. So first thing I do, guys, check the ramp. Make sure it's nice and clear. All right, guys, so we're making it up to the boat here. The first thing I do is take off this safety chain, but I leave the main cable. If you don't leave the main cable your boat's going to slide right off the uh right off the bunks and that would be uh no bueno so look up some boat uh ramp fails and uh you'll see what i'm talking about but anyways guys safety chain i take this off now you don't have to take this off right from the get-go you could take it off down there by the water but sometimes just trying to get this thing off uh, can be kind of a pain in the butt so that's the first thing i do then i'm gonna pop my strap as I'm popping my strap, I'm taking off the, uh, it's kind of tricky doing this with one hand, taking off the old transom saver there. As I'm doing that, checking the plug, make sure that bad boy's tight. Don't forget the plug, because the boat will sink. <laughs> Trust me, I've done it before. All right, so I'm going to grab this. Okay, just going to lay that there for a second. All right, second strap. I'm gonna leave the boat motor at that height just because it's a uh, perfect height for dropping in and make my way over to this side of the boat here. Now this process could be a little bit different if you guys wanna throw that in the back of your truck or something, but I like to keep it in the boat and we're just gonna dump it right there. Okay, that's pretty much it there guys. So. First thing we do, check the ramp. Then we're gonna come back to the boat here. Ramp checks out, make sure the water's not too shallow. That's another one too. I'm gonna take this uh, safety clamp off. I'm gonna leave the main clamp. I'm gonna walk around the boat here. Got my first strap, boom, he's off. Then I'm gonna take the uh, trolling motor, or uh, not trolling motor, but transom saver off the uh, motor there. Check the plug, don't forget that. And you got your last strap, and then you just kind of make it all the way around. That's pretty much it, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and dunk it in. I got the camera over here, so get a little video of that and show you guys how deep I put it in. guys Woo. whoa almost follow the truck another thing i want to say is uh when you put your truck in park it's kind of an obvious thing but a lot of guys forget it is uh make sure you put your uh safety brake down because if you don't for whatever reason there's uh been quite a few trucks popping that parking uh parking brake and uh don't want your truck falling in the water so that would suck okay guys so hopefully you guys can see it but back of the boat's kind of floating a little bit usually on a normal ramp and i say normal lightly because every ramp's a little different but usually i can get my back tires right here pretty much out the water line so i don't have to get in the water now depending on the water level and the ramp you might have to get it in a little bit deeper but what i'm looking for is as soon as the back of my boat starts to float just a little bit then i know i'm good and sometimes if my boat's extra sticky i do have to kind of like dunk it a little bit where i might take it down an extra foot and then pull up just a little bit just to get those bunks a little bit more wet but for the most part if you see your boat slightly floating in the back then you should have uh, just enough in there and another rule of thumb is when you bring your boat back up if you keep about 50 50 of your bunks in the water and the other 50 percent out of the water that's a good depth to uh, put your trailer in so and then I also look at the uh, 
little bunks on the sides right there. They're just kind of poking out of the water. Then I kind of know I'm at a good height too. So, um, all right, so we're gonna go to the front here. I'm gonna go ahead and unclick that. And then I'm gonna show you the little ropes that I use and uh, show you guys those bad boys. All right, guys, I'm gonna try to do this and not fall here. It's a little wet, just, just kind of crawling up over the boat here. All right, so we're gonna unclick this bad boy now. Man, all right, guys, got it unclicked there. Okay. Let's go ahead and drop the motor. Just a little bit, just so uh, it can spit a little bit there. Just turn it on. Make sure you're jetting some water. If you're not, that's a big problem. So uh, <laughs> definitely check, make sure it's uh, getting water back there. Hey, there we are. <laughs> All right, so it's gonna be a little tricky to do with one hand, but I'm just gonna let the boat kind of glide itself towards the back there. I'm gonna take it right to the front. And we're gonna rope it up. Got my rope here before I float away. Should have had that pulled out first, but you guys get the idea. I'm just gonna bungee it on right here. And let me show you guys these ropes here, man. They're super good. Um, I don't know what this brand is, but I picked them up on Amazon. Boat Tech Door. Quality. Anyways, guys, super good. They're about three feet long. Got a pair of them. If I uh, have a windy situation here, I'll wrap up the other one and, uh, you know, keep the boat from flailing around. But for the most part, I usually just tie up, uh, tie up one because most of the time I'm not really next to anybody. So... That's pretty much it guys. Sometimes I'll leave the boat running, kind of get it warmed up, especially if it's cold in the morning, but for the most part, if it's uh, summertime, you can you know, shut her down, but that's really it guys. Nothing too special, but kind of see my bunk placement there. This lake's a little shallow right now, so had to creep it in a little bit farther, but that's pretty much it guys. All right guys, well, that's how to uh, launch your boat solo. If you guys are uh, curious about that or first timers out there getting a new boat kind of want to know the process that's how i do it and uh works every time let me know what you guys think about this video today if you guys liked it hit that like button and as always guys thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one time to fish <laughs>